All right, you guys, today I check out how to create vector ASCII effect here in Illustrator and Photoshop. By the way, this is not the best way how you can do it. I don't know how you can do it in the best way possible. And if you know a better way how to do vector ASCII, just leave a comment down in the description. All right, so I'm going to start in Photoshop. This is my artboard size. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the adjustments, scroll down and select the posterize. And here I'm going to decrease the levels. So as you can see, we've got like one, two colors plus the black and white. And we're also going to need to separate the white and the yellow because they kind of look together. And I'm going to go back to the adjustment, select hue saturation. And here I can switch up the hue. So this way you can see the white is going to separate itself from the other color. Now this is orange. From here, we're going to need to make this black and white. So let's go back to the adjustments, select black and white. And now as you can see, we've got another problem. The other two colors merged together and we're going to need to fix all that. So let's go here to the reds and just adjust these. And now again, let's go back to the adjustments, go to curves. And I got to go and increase this path and bring it all the way up here to the first square, a little bit above. I think this is pretty good. From here, I'm going to select all the layers, a right click, convert to smart object. You also can select merge layers. We won't need the layers anymore. And from here, let's go to the select, select color range. And here with the eyedropper tool, all you need to do is select one of these colors. So now as you can see, it is going to select the darkest area, click OK and press Control C, Control V. So this is going to separate it into a new layer. Now let's go back to the original layer. I'm going to repeat the same step, select color range. And now I'm going to go with this gray, click on it, click OK, Control C, Control V. And I'm going to go and do the same thing with the rest. Select, click OK, Control C, Control V. All right, so after you are done, select the bottom layer with the original layer. And let's go here, select solid color and make it white, click OK. And we're going to need to save these separately. So I'm going to start with this one, save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to go to the second one. This is going to be number two and let's go to number three. Now let's go to Illustrator and drag and drop the images in here. As you can see, they are pretty big and I'm going to scale them down and separate them. From here, I'm going to go to the first one, select it. Let's go to the effect, pixelate and select color halftone. Here I'm going to go with these values for me. It's going to be 60 and make sure it's on 45, 45, 45 and 45. Click OK. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to repeat the same step with this one. So I'm going to select it. Let's go here, image trace and select the default. And if your circles are touching each other, you can go here to the properties and decrease the threshold all the way down. Let's go to the advanced and make sure to check ignore color. Click on expand. As you can see, the circles are imperfect, but don't worry about it. So now we convert it into vectors. I'm going to repeat the same steps with the other ones. All right, so now we can create those custom shapes for it. And I'm going to start with this one. And for this one to make it work, we're going to need a script. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description where you can download it. And I'm also going to leave another video in the description how you can install it. And now I'm going to go and select the rectangle. And make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke. Click on the stroke, click on the non, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top. And I'm going to go here, press and hold shift, create a rectangle. And let's go and select the subject with the half tone. And let's go to the pathfinder and click on unite. If you don't have it, you can go here to the pathfinder and force unite. And I'm going to go and select the rectangle. Also make sure it's on the top. Right click, arrange and select bring to front. And I'm going to press control C or you can go to edit and click on copy. And let's select everything. Go to file, scripts and I'm going to select replace items. These are my settings. Click OK. So this is how it looks. Now I'm going to go to the second one. Here I'm going to create another shape. After you replace all the elements, all you need to do is just drag it on the other one and try to place it as best as possible. As you can see, it is going to cross each other and you're going to need to remove those manually. But this is all I know. And the last one. And that's how you make vector ASCII here in Illustrator and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.